In this video, we're going to make our own home automation system using the mesh networking protocol using which we can control multiple appliances and also monitor multiple sensors data without internet or rather without having any router in between. So let's see how to make it. This video is sponsored by UT Source. Now, UT Source is an electronic component distributor on which you can purchase any sensors, modules, or small and big electronic component, or maybe a general purpose PCB with a minimum order quantity of only one piece. There are many payment options as well as there are many delivery options as well. So, I'll attach the link of some of the products from UT Source in the description. So, go ahead, check it out, and maybe you can find your perfect component at your perfect price. Link is in the description. Okay, so for the demo project, I'll be using the three Node MCU boards. Out of that, on one of the Node MCU board, I will connect this OLED display and two push buttons in this manner. On the second Node MCU board, I'll be connecting one DHT11 sensor and a relay module in this manner. And in the third, on the last Node MCU, I'll be connecting one gas sensor and one relay module in this manner. Now in this video, I won't be explaining about how mesh networking works or how to use it in our ESP boards as I already made a separate video about it. So can you watch out that video before starting this project? Okay, so now let's just start with the coding part. So first of all, I'll code the Node MCU board with the OLED screen and two push buttons on it. So this is the code for this Node MCU board and uh, let me just explain you some of the important lines in the code. So these are the necessary libraries which you need to download and install on your system to make this code work. After that, I have defined the Wi-Fi credentials. Now, make sure these Wi-Fi credentials should remain same in each and every board which you want to communicate between each other, okay? If any of the thing is changed in any of the code, they won't be able to communicate between each other. Okay, so now let's jump to the sending part of the code. So here is the sending function. First of all, I'm reading the button status and if the button status is low, I'm just toggling the button status variable. So whenever the button is pressed, the button status variable data will change from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1 according to the last data saved in that variable. After saving the button status, now it's time to send that. And for sending that, I'm using JSON here. Now if you're not familiar with JSON, let me just tell you in very brief that JSON is just an object notation or we can see a syntax in which the data is represented. It is very popular in sending and receiving data, maybe on internet or maybe between the hardwares. Now, if I explain you JSON syntax practically, then what these lines inside the code will do is, first of all, a JSON object will be created in which there will be two values, relay one and relay two, and their keys will be button status one and button status two respectively. So this is how a JSON syntax looks like. Likewise, we can create many values and assign them respective keys. And this data is converted into string format by using this function called serialized JSON. So now the JSON format data will be saved in string called message. Let me just show you the response of this code by printing the message. So this is how the data will be transmitted in JSON format. Now on the receiver side, it's very easy to deserialize that string and just extract that particular data which we want out of that whole string. Let me show you. Now on the receiver side, if I want the data of relay one particularly, then first of all, I will deserialize it and I will write doc in brackets into double inverted comma relay one, which is the name of my value, which data I want. And I will get the key of this value easily and I can turn on and off the relay by using this variable. So this was a simplest and practical explanation about how we can transmit and receive data using JSON. But still, if you want to understand it in more detail, then I will recommend one video from Acrobotics on YouTube in which he explained the code line by line about transmitting and receiving data using JSON. The video link is attached in the description. And likewise, if you want to be updated with what's going on around the field of electronics or if you want to join the like-minded people, then I will recommend to follow on Instagram page called Engineers Asylum, uh, which I too follow on Instagram. So just follow that page in case you want to be updated with the uh, recent or latest projects or any technology updates regarding this field of electronics. Its link is also attached in the description. Okay, so coming back to the code. So here I'm just serializing the push button data and sending it after every second. Now this data will be broadcasted to all the devices under same network under same port number. Now talking about the receiving part of the code then, after receiving the data, I'm first deserializing that JSON and saving different data into different string. And in the end, I'm just displaying that data onto the OLED screen. Pretty simple and straightforward. 
Okay, so this was about the coding of first node MCU board with the OLED screen and push buttons on it. But don't worry, the coding of other two boards won't take this much time because I already explained the purpose and the use of JSON here. So let us quickly start with the coding of second node MCU board on which I attach one relay and a DHT11 sensor. So starting with the code, again the necessary libraries which you need to have on your system. Again, same Wi-Fi credentials of course. And let us jump to the sending part of this code. So here in the sending part, I'm just reading out the sensors data from the DHT11 sensor, saving them into temperature and humidity value and just serializing and sending them to other boards. Now here in this case, I'm sending the data after every 10 seconds of interval. So quickly moving to the receiving part of the code then here, first of all, I'm deserializing the JSON. After that, I'm just extracting the data of relay one because I'm not at all interested in relay two data. After receiving the key of the relay one value, I'm just uh, turning on and off the relay attached to one of the digital pin of the board by using this variable. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now let's just jump to the coding of last node MCU board on which I have attached one relay module and one gas sensor. So here again the necessary libraries, necessary Wi-Fi credentials and coming to the sending part then here I am sending the data of gas sensor by using one value called gas. Again I am sending the data after 10 seconds of interval and if we go to the receiving part again I am receiving the data, deserializing it, interested in only relay 2 and turning on and off the relay according to this video. Whew. So this was a long coding part of the project. If you are still watching the video, that means you are quite interested in this project because many people would have already skipped the video because of this long coding part. Uh, maybe or may not be, I don't know. Let me know if you're still watching it. Do like the video if you have continued watching till now. Uh, by that ratio, I'll come to know how many people are interested. Okay, so after uploading the code on each node MCU board, now it's the time to see this project in action. Okay, so the demo project is perfectly working and similarly, I made one more project using Mesh in which I used my previously made project called Ultimate Home Automation System, edited its code to make it compatible with Mesh networking and here as you can see, I am able to control the multiple relays and also able to monitor multiple sensors without internet, without any router. Isn't this a very fresh and unique technique to make your home a smart home? Do drop your thoughts about which method you love the most. Home automation with internet or home automation with mesh? Let me know your thoughts in the comment and now just wait for one next one and then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.